on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the state of freedom and 10 being the state of tyranny. Okay, 1 the state of freedom, 10 the state of tyranny. Where would you place our nation now, particularly since the advent of COVID policies in particular? We're definitely at 8, 10 being you're sitting in a gulag or being hunted by the officials for simply trying to live free and faithful and true to Christ. We're definitely at eight. Uh, this is a pernicious evil, this whole COVID thing. They are actually using the citizens against each other, and they've convinced so many citizens that their actual lives are at stake. So they're vehement little um, tyrants themselves playing the role of citizen Gestapo across our nation and it's coming to the fore with this whole masking matter. And I, I'd like to read just a quote from C.S. Lewis to you, uh, Pastor Sam, because he really hits it on the head here. He said, of all tyrannies, a tyranny sincerely exercised for the good of its victims may be the most oppressive. It would be better to live under robber barons than under omnipotent moral busybodies. The robber baron's cruelty may sometimes sleep. His cupidity may at some point be satiated. But those who torment us for our own good will torment us without end, for they do so with the approval of their own conscience. Hmm. And that's what you have here, the state of things right now. People are convinced by our government and the media that their very lives are at stake because of this virus, and they are running to the arms of the state, not realizing the state is using this in order to increase their power. I'm telling you, people better wake up. Um, don't underestimate, you know, what's going on here with this masking thing. I've read numerous posts now where the pro-mask people are talking about how the children should be taken away from those who refuse to wear masks. I've seen numerous videos where they're shaming people who don't wear masks publicly at stores or in public areas. Um, there was an article put out at yahoo.com and numerous other articles at other sites that I've seen, which teach people actually how to shame those who don't wear articles. So there's much more at stake here than just wearing a mask. So don't underestimate the evil because it is huge. And these tyrants have figured out that a virus is the perfect narrative in order to tyrannize the people. It was the British statesman, William Pitt. Pastor Sam, who said necessity is the plea for every infringement of human freedom. It is the argument of tyrants. It is the, it is the creed of slaves. And that's where we're at right now. They are after everybody's lives, and they're using this virus to invade our personal lives and our family lives. People need to learn about contact tracing. Um, that is a great evil that is being fomented around the country while the masking is all the thing right now. This contact tracing is a great evil. People have to understand, Pastor Sam, that tyranny doesn't just happen when you snap your fingers. 